This woman needs no introduction. Miss Vera Moore is nationwide with her cosmetics and her relationships, keeping our blackness very prominent and brilliant in a way that young women would have never seen before yes. if we did not see Miss Vera Moore. Gloria! This is a surprise, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vera Moore and the beautiful Consuela. And Vera Moore is the first black woman to ever be featured in a department store. Vera Moore is. And Vera Moore integrated Green Acres Mall. We were the first black tenant in the history. We broke the and color the barrier. history. In the history. And the history. In the history. What? Well, I'm excited now because Gloria came into the interview and I just love it. Thank you, God. Yeah. <laughs> she did the thing. But you know what I always want to say to our beautiful black women? I mean, everybody thinks you're beautiful now because it's economics. Because we spend trillions of dollars on the beauty industry. But I always knew you were beautiful, baby. You know, and when I integrated that mall in 1979, I told you you were beautiful. It took me three years to get into that mall. Three years to integrate that mall. And it was extremely difficult, but I didn't give up because we belong there. I grew up in Queens. I grew up in Laurelton. We're shopping in Laurelton. And, you know, and there's not a, a presence of a black face. So it was difficult, and it took three years, and I did it. And I stayed in Green Acres Mall for 25 years. Yes. Wow. They put me on the second floor in the food court. Mm -hmm. I had initially requested the first floor, but I, I'm, I'm grateful. I want to get my foot in the door, you know? And I stayed upstairs for 10 years on the second floor, and then I renegotiated my contract with Green Acres Mall, and they put me down on the first floor where I initially requested and I was down there for 15 years. So I was in the mall for 25 years. And if I did it, you can do it. There's no excuse. I don't want to hear, well, I can't do it. I can't go there because I'm black. You're born black, you're going to die black. You can do it. Yo, this is your man <laughs> Raleigh Hall and Miss Vera Moore. Thank you so much. We are honored. And we, we support her. Listen, yes. go out there, support Miss Vera Moore for the sake of she's making a way for your children, your grandchildren in a way that the history books oh, yeah. would never have told. So you're hearing it right from Miss Vera Moore herself. Consider yourself blessed, family, and go out there. Now, what are you doing thus far? Well, right now, I'm very excited. Uh, I just finished a movie. Whoa! So, <laughs> I can't believe it. I keep pitching Ooh. myself. We just finished the movie in June. And we hope it's out in November. It's called Tried by Fire. It's an independent film, and they're going to be opening out in Long Island at the AMAC Theaters. Yeah, I'm excited. And I'm grateful to God yeah. for the opportunity. And you know what, another thing, it's almost as though I've come full circle. You know who's in the movie? Who? And I was on Broadway with her in Pearly Victorious, Melba Moore. I was in the chorus, and Melba Moore was that beautiful lead with that gorgeous voice. Yes. And I met her then, and we've remained friends. And now she's in the same, oh, I'm in the same movie she's in. I'm, say, you know, I'm in the movie that Mel Moore's in. She ain't my movie. Let's get that straight. Let's keep, you know, don't get it twisted. And uh, so I'm, <laughs> well, no, you. well, you know. Every accomplishment, every task that you've been given, you've excelled in. Yes, and those things are something to celebrate because they don't come, you know, like a, a, a dozen at a time. No, and that's and, why you have to stay consistent yes. and, and be tenacious. And even Vera Moore Cosmetics, I had no idea I was going to be an entrepreneur. I was on Broadway. I traveled with Kathleen Battle, the, the opera singer in Trimanisha. I was the first black family on NBC national television, Another World. Another World national soap opera, NBC, big time, first black family, and I was on that for 11 years. And when I got on that soap opera, I realized the void in the market for black women and women of color. And that was the genesis of Vera Moore Cosmetics. Thank you for that history. Yeah, yeah. She ain't bragging. No. And she ain't boasting, but she's being her beauty from her blackness and brilliant about it. Listen, it takes a strategy. It's tr it takes so much ingenuity. It takes a team. And we don't want to talk about competition. Come on, guys. Yeah. We want to talk about cooperation, collaborating, teamwork, entrepreneurship joint ventures, investing, and this is the way you grow, this is the way you scale, because no one can do it by, the, no man is an island. Yes. And I'm proud to say, my company is 48 years young, and I own my company 100%. This is not a, let me say this slowly, this is not a black front 
white-owned company. I own this company. Me and my husband, Billy, and we struggled and we sacrificed for this. So I'm, I'm just proud. I want to say thank you to my man, Billy, <laughs> which is Miss Vera Moore's husband, if yes. y'all don't know, but he's the backbone, he's the strong king, yes. and exemplifies what it looks like to be the man of color that he is in our community. And I couldn't have done it without Billy. Always got your back. Whatever you want to do, baby. What do you want to do, baby? And he was there. So I got it. And he, we started on Hillside Avenue in a little beauty parlor. What? But it was difficult. Was it easy to get into Green Acres more? No. But I did it. And you can do it too. We have no excuse. Let me share this word with you. Together we finish as strong as we start. Together we finish as strong as we start, y'all. And this woman here has brought us to a place as a community that shines a level of brilliance that is not to be compared to. But you also have that same shine. Absolutely.